Hi, my name is Rabbi Pini Duna. Welcome to my pre-Rosh Hashanah message. Now, I have a question for you. Do you believe in God? I bet you're thinking, what a weird question for a rabbi to ask. But the truth is, most rabbis never talk about God. In fact, most people who say they are religious Jews never talk about God. They talk about the Parsha, they talk about Shabbos, they talk about Yom Tov, they talk about keeping kosher. That's it. They talk about everything connected to being religious, but they don't talk about God. It's strange, isn't it? Have you ever wondered why? Maybe it's because we don't want to be identified with other people who talk about God. Maybe we don't want to be compared with the fanatics and weirdos, or with people who seem to know exactly what God wants, or why God does this, or God does that. And we definitely don't want to be identified with anyone who uses God as an excuse to persecute people or wage holy wars. We're not the Taliban. We're not Al-Qaeda. We're just regular people who keep the mitzvahs. Yes, yes, I know it's for God. But if we talk about God, that's no good. At least that's what we think. Or it could be that we don't talk that much about God because we don't really know what to say. We live in a very secular world, a world of science and logic, and God is a bit of an anomaly. He can't be quantified or measured or weighed or tested, which means that if we talk about God, we're showing that we believe in something that can't be proven. Woody Allen put it very well. If only God would give me some clear sign that he exists, like making a large deposit in my name in a Swiss bank account. But the thing is, not having God in our lives is not working. Being Jewish by associating with other Jews for festivals and life cycle events, or by eating gefilte fish and chulent, is simply not enough. Truthfully, it's a disaster. Recently, there was a Pew Research study of the American Jewish community. The results of the survey were very painful. Intermarriage is up. Assimilation is up. Synagogue affiliation is down. Jewish literacy is down. For example, the survey shows that 90% of American Jews cannot read or understand any Hebrew. 12% of US Jews say they attend religious services weekly or more often, compared with 27% of the general public and 38% of US Christians. And 21% of Jewish adults say that religion is very important in their lives, compared with 41% of US adults overall and 57% of Christians. It's unbelievable. But here is something much more shocking. About a quarter of those surveyed say they believe in God, compared with more than half of US adults overall and 8 out of 10 Christians. Do you know what that means? It means that 75% of Jews don't believe in God. It's totally crazy. So now you understand my question. What about you? Do you believe in God? Are you part of the 26%? And if you are, what are you doing about it? Because that number is shrinking if we don't focus on keeping God strong in our lives. The thing is, we spend so much time talking about mitzvahs and doing them, we forget about God, even if we believe in him. I mean, do you really understand what God is and what he wants from you? And if you don't, truthfully, I'm not sure I know either, then what? that's what Rosh Hashanah is all about. The whole davening on Rosh Hashanah is about Hashem, it's about God. On Rosh Hashanah we talk about God as the Melech, the King, a simple word that means that God is all-powerful and that every aspect of the universe falls under his jurisdiction. We also talk about God as the God of Zichronot, of memory, which means that there is nothing that has ever happened or that happens in our lives which is not significant to God. He remembers and takes an interest in everything. And he is also the God of Shofarot. The Shofar is there to remind us of our duties and obligations going forward. And the blasts of the Shofar give us a sense of purpose in our lives so that we don't slack off. You see, God is there in every aspect of our lives. He presides over history. He presides over the present. He presides over the future, as we say in Onatanet Tokef. On Rosh Hashanah it is written, and on Yom Kippur it is sealed, who shall live and who shall die. It is at the very core of who we are as Jews that God is at the very centre of our lives. But how can you boost your belief in God so that God is front and centre? Where's the proof of God which is going to underpin everything else that we have in our lives? I could give you many answers, but the one I'm going to give you is the most personal to you and the one that will always be the most meaningful. You see, 
You are the proof that God exists. The fact that you are here keeping Rosh Hashanah, davening the ancient prayers, listening to the shofar, dipping the challah and apple into honey after 4,000 years of turbulence and persecution, the fact that you are still an active Jew, you are proof of God's existence. Let me tell you a beautiful story I heard from a rabbi in Baltimore about Rabbi Tzvi Elimelech Hertzberg, a Belzer Chosid who was a well-known Hasidic rabbi in Baltimore. Even today, 50 years after he died, his shul is still referred to as Hertzberg's shul. A few years before he died, the sisterhood of a reformed temple in Washington, D.C. launched an adult education program called Hasidism Month, which included lectures about the history of Hasidism and reading books. They invited Rabbi Hertzberg to come there and speak, but he told them that he didn't speak in reform shuls. But anyway, he said, he had a better idea. How about you come and visit a genuine Hasidic shtibel? Come and spend a few hours at my shul in Baltimore. Do you know what? They thought it was a great idea. How exotic, they said to each other. A field trip to visit the Hasidim. So they chartered buses and came from D.C. to Baltimore. Rabbi Hertzberg welcomed them, gave them some good food, showed them around his shtibel and told them stories of the miracles that the Baal Shem Tov did and the miracles of Rabbi Naftali of Rabshitz. After he'd finished, he asked the group if they had any questions. One woman got up and asked, Do you really believe that the Baal Shem Tov did miracles? And he answered, Yes, I do. Uh, and do you really believe that Rabbi Naftali of Rabshitz did miracles? He answered, Yes, I do. She smiled, OK. So can you do a miracle? And everyone chuckled. And he answered, Yes, I can. There was silence. What do you mean? the lady asked. Well, you're here, aren't you? That's a miracle. It is said that King Frederick the Great of Prussia once asked his ministers and advisers if they could offer him one single irrefutable proof of God. Yes, your majesty, said one, the Jews. This Rosh Hashanah, and hopefully beyond, for the rest of your life, remember that being a Jew is not just about the mitzvahs you keep or the shul that you daven in. All of those things are just a means to an end. The most important thing about being a Jew is believing in God and embracing God. It is about recognizing the miracles in your life and recognizing the miracle of your life and the miracle of you being here as a Jew. It is about knowing that all God wants from you is a relationship with you and that in order to have that relationship, we must focus more on God than we have in the past. Yes, that's the only way forward. I want to wish you Lashana Tova Tekatevu, Vatechatemu. May you have a wonderful year, full of joy, nachas, success, good health, and may this year be the year of the arrival of Mashiach and the rebuilding of God's temple in Jerusalem. Amen, the Amen.